Bonjour, say go. Hello everybody, my name is Shuma and welcome to an activity video. For today's activity, we're going to be making DIY tissue paper candle holders to celebrate last month's winter solstice. But what is the winter solstice, you may ask? Well, the winter solstice marks the longest and the shortest day of the year. It also marks the first day of winter. It's when the Earth's axis tilts the furthest away from the sun. Thus, winter solstice was a very special part of my childhood because that's when my family would get together and would celebrate the special day by having a campfire outside and then we'd go walk along the back forest trails with tin candles and that's what we'd use to guide ourselves through the dark. So the winter solstice was a very special part of my childhood. And this is a special way to celebrate the winter solstice by making our own DIY candles. But before we start the activity, I'm going to sing a fun little song on the ukulele. A song that honors the stars in the night sky. A song that we all grew up with. So here is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the ukulele. Twinkle, twinkle, star how i wonder what she wore up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what she I love that song. All right, now let's jump into the activity. Okay, so to start off, you'll need only a few items for this activity. You'll need a mason jar. You'll need some tissue paper. You'll need some scissors, some glue, a paintbrush, and a lead tea light. And those are all the items you'll be needing. All right, so let's move on to the activity itself. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take our scissors, and we're gonna wanna take our tissue paper, and we're gonna wanna cut out all kinds of shapes. It could be large shapes, small shapes. It could be squares, circles, triangles, squiggly marks. You're just going to want to cut out enough shapes that you can cover the whole outside layer of your jar. Okay, so I think I cut out enough shapes for my jar but another thing you can also do, if you don't feel like cutting out your shapes, you can also take your tissue paper and you can wrap it around, wrap it around the jar and glue it that way. So the next thing I'll do will be taking my paintbrush or you can just use the glue and you don't need to use the brush but I find the brush is a little easier. And you can either place glue on the back side of your tissue paper and glue it onto the jar, or you could just place the glue onto the jar and then stick the tissue paper onto the side of the jar. So for today, my technique was deciding to place the glue onto the jar and then taking my tissue paper and sticking it like so. It's almost like making a collage on 
a mason jar. And so you're just going to continue placing your tissue paper onto the jar. You can overlap the other pieces of tissue paper if need to, but don't make it too thick or it'll be difficult for the light to shine through. All right, I feel pretty happy and content with what I have decorated. I realized while I was decorating my jar is that the tissue paper is a little dark. So if you're doing this activity, you may also want to try some lighter tissue paper and see how the, how the lead candle sh shines through. But this should do the trick for now. I also left a few cracks in, in the paper so the light shines through better. But let's try this out. The last thing we need to do is take our lead light and turn it on. Whoa, that's bright. And we're gonna put it right into the jar. Now that it's placed in, I can either put the lid on or keep the lid off. Let's see what happens when I put the lid on and put it in a dark space. Isn't it beautiful? And here it is with the lid off. All right, that is all we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that activity. And until next time, Guaba Minwa. See you later, everybody.